My GF 24F of 3 years confessed to me that she cheated on me 24M after showing her that Jenny Carly story on Reddit. I don't even know what to do stay or leave. I am awkward enough that there's a chance I may not find anyone else again. Like the title says, she admitted to spending some time with a guy from work we both know and had made out with him a couple of times. We talked over the phone and basically, she's sorry for what she's done but then she had the balls to start pointing out things wrong with our relationship and that's why she doesn't know if we can be together long term. She thought it was appropriate for her to unload all this because she was never comfortable sharing it. Despite all the small jabs about this throughout these years, apparently, I do things right for the big things. For example being there for grad and surprising her with flowers. Getting her a DSLR as a surprise because she expressed interest in photography. Clearing out my day to make time for her knee surgery. Etc. But, it's the everyday small things that make her feel that we're disconnected sometimes. For example we'd be busy with work for a couple of days that the extent of our contact would be very touch and go with a few. Texts here and there or short phone calls. I am away for work on a year's contract but am able to visit every few weeks for a few days so that makes things hard. I didn't think it would. Anyway, all these things were brought up after she confessed and it just seemed that the conversation got twisted into me defending our relationship. I don't know what to do. This was late last night and she's at work today. It's weird because she's not an outright scumbag she's involved with her church as a youth. Leader. Always leading some event or volunteering. Etc. I love her. I really do. It's just these shitty jabs at me it sucks. And I am kind of awkward and naive enough that and it's not an impossibility for me not to find anyone ever again. I am handling myself well but when that thought of her making out with that other guy. Goddamn I just want to punch something. Sorry if I left out any crucial details. I just didn't want to be too. Specific with him. I'll probably delete this later on. Sigh. Too long didn't read has anyone been cheated by their so and gave them a second chance. Why? Should I? Edit thanks for the responses guys. She started this morning with an innocent text as if nothing happened. Morning babe. Hope you have a good day. She phoned later and asked nothings. How are you doing? Do you resent me? I told her I. Loved her but she was shitty to me. I hung up after too long of a silence. She texted me and now we're meeting up later. I guess the outcome of our relationship will be decided soon. Edit 2 again. Thanks for the reality checks. Guys. Heading over in half an hour and I am reading your comments to get myself into the proper mindset. Shit. I might really be ending this. Edit 3 it's done. I let go of someone who I love dearly and. Now. I am going to go sleep. Turns out this has been going on for like 8 months. Shit. I don't know if I am prepared to retell the story. I did think hard about the words of some of the comments while we were talking. I even had them on notepad to mull over. Nothing she can say that will change what she did. Why she did it. Or how little she gives a duck about how wrong it was. This tactic does is allow the cheater to dodge responsibility and instead reframe the conversation about your faults. There's absolutely nothing commendable about people who reveal their cheating with this method. The fact that you broke my trust in you is a far far worse thing than the sum total of everything else. No sorry not sorry bullshit. I forgave mine because she confessed. Didn't try to justify it. And I could tell she was truly regretful. She bailed on this relationship a long time ago. And the longer you try to salvage it. The less she respects you. It's never going to. Be the way it was ever again. So stop trying to cling to it. Take your testicles back from her handbag and regain control over your own life. Stop being this cheating whore safe reliable fallback guy. Gaslighting this is what people do who can't handle the confrontation or admit to their role in turning things to shit. Thank you to all those who commented. Harsh words were exchanged. I don't think my dignity has been degraded this much. I wanna phone up someone but at the same time. People knowing about what she did would ruin her. I don't want that. Shit. Okay I am going to sleep this all off now. I had to cheat on you because you aren't putting enough effort into our relationship is such a blatant technique of manipulation. All that this tactic does is allow the cheater to dodge responsibility and instead reframe the conversation about your faults. There's absolutely nothing commendable about people who reveal their cheating with this method. A good partner raises their concerns with the relationship and works on finding ways to reach a mutually agreeable compromise. Instead of making out with a co-worker, your girlfriend is not a good partner. 
I had to cheat on you because you aren't putting enough effort into our relationship is such a blatant technique of manipulation. All that this tactic does is allow the cheater to dodge responsibility and instead reframe the conversation about your faults. There's absolutely nothing commendable about people who reveal their cheating with this method. Thank you. I was never able to solidify these feelings into words. And you're right. A good partner would find a compromise with me. I am meeting up with her later. We'll see what happens. I feel like I might still cave. Me having a soft spot for her and all. Jerk off before you go. No. I am not kidding. This is excellent advice. As silly as it sounds. Jerking off before big decisions is a good way to make sure your head is on straight. Pretty sure you guys just really like jerking off. She's dumping the laundry list of small issues now in order to divert the conversation away from her behavior as well as to assuage her own guilt about what she did. Your response to her when she says all this is. None of these things excuse what you did. If you had an issue with me and our relationship, then you should have communicated that to make and we should have made a plan to address those things. The fact that you broke my trust in you is a far, far worse thing than the sum total of everything else. I don't know if I can ever trust you again. And if you can't trust her again, break up. Thanks. And you're right. I've been thinking today how ironic it is when she's always been harping about the little things when she does something like this. We're meeting up later and I guess we'll see what happens. I wouldn't. You didn't cause her to cheat and she is putting the reason she cheated squarely on you. She is not owning it. Walk away. You can do better. Thanks. Right. She apologized but she didn't own it. We'll see what she has to say. I am meeting up with her later. Probably the last if I don't like what I hear. Lots of people have been cheated on. Forgiven. And had it work out just fine. Also. Lots of people have done that and had it not work out at all. The key to this one is the long term lying. The admission. And the immediate progression into here is why it's your fault. She hasn't actually apologized. All she's done is clear her conscience. Get rid. Pretty cut and dried. She hasn't actually apologized. All she's done is clear her conscience. I think that's what she really wanted. A clear emergency room conscience. Thanks for the words. I got cheated on in a spectacular way by my wife of eight years. She was the mother of my children. So I gave her a second chance. Within a month she was cheating again. Here's the thing people screw up sometimes. Sometimes they learn from it and sometimes they don't. Sometimes the relationship can be saved and sometimes it can't. You'll never know unless you try. I'll be honest though. From what you said. I don't think she's interested in saving it. I think she's confessing in the hopes that you'll initiate the breakup. She wants to break up but she doesn't want the guilt of being the one to start it. Instead she's sabotaging things in the hopes you'll do the dirty work for her. I also think you need to have a little more faith in yourself. Awkwardness happens to everyone. You just have to learn to work around it. Edit I divorced her after that. She's still your wife. What is wrong with you? Oh no. 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 That bitch went ducking crazy. As soon as I found out about the new cheating. I dropped her ass ASAP. Ducking psycho cunt ruined 8 years of my life. Now I've upgraded to someone amazing. And I am so happy I am practically farting rainbows. Sorry for the confusion. If you want the sorted and extremely ducked up details. It's in my comment history. Hit like. If you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing to our channel.